Welcome to Azure Monitor Log Analytics. In this video, we'll introduce Log Analytics and show you how to easily get instant insights from your logs. This demo assumes you already onboarded to logs and that data is being sent to Log Analytics. If this is not the case yet, refer to our documentation or tutorial video on how to set up your logs. Now let's get started with logs. In this video, we demonstrate how to view and query logs on a single Kubernetes cluster resource but the same principles demonstrated here are applicable to all log scopes. A quick and easy way to get started is to use our query screen. The query screen holds pre-built example queries and other saved queries, making it an ideal place to start. You can filter your queries according to resource type, category, topics, and other tags to find what you need. Additionally, when viewing the logs for a single resource, we automatically apply a filter to show you queries that are relevant to the resource type that you are currently exploring. In this case, since I access logs from a Kubernetes cluster, the Kubernetes services filter was pre-populated. Note that we also have a special section for queries specifically optimized for alerts to quickly create helpful alerts for your resources. You can also change the grouping of the queries so that they are arranged in a way that's convenient for you. And you can search example queries to find just the right insight for you. In our example, we'll try to find errors in this cluster's container logs. To do this, we'll search for the word find, and we can see that we'll easily get an example query to help us get started. From this point, things are simple. We'll load the example to the editor and follow the instructions. In this specific case, we need to tell the query what's the string that we're after. In our scenario, we'll find all of the warning messages in the logs. So we simply update the query with the string warning in the right place, and then click Run, and we get our results set on the screen ready for exploration. The same experience is also available for queries listed in the sidebar. If you don't find the right example query for you, you can also start your log exploration from the tables level. The table view behaves much in the same way as the queries view. You can group by and filter your tables according to the resource type, category, and solution. By default, we only show tables containing log data in the table sidebar, However, you can easily view all the tables by changing the relevant setting. Note that the table view only displays the tables relevant to the log analytics scopes that you're in. This means that in our scope, a single Kubernetes cluster, we only see tables relevant for Kubernetes. You can also hover over the tables for an informative pop-up containing a short table description and a link to the table's full description in documentation. And starting a query from the table is straightforward. Double-clicking on the table name gives you a preview of the data, and then you can load it into the editor. Now that we have our first result set, we're ready to get started. Log Analytics uses KQL, a query language that's very easy to use for exploration. Each stage in the KQL statement produces a table, and each table produced is the input for the next stage. We use the pipe operator to define new stages. If we look at the table that we got from preview, we can see that the container logs table was filtered for the last 24 hours and limited to just 10 records being returned. We can easily change the filtering much in the same way we change it in any other query language. Let's try and filter the table for rows containing only warning, just as we did in the example query. First, we'll explore the columns available in the result set. And here we see that the log entry column has text describing the error. We'll add the pipe operator to the query, and then where log entry has warning. To retrieve similar results to those that we got using the example query, we'll also change the query to fetch only 1,000 records instead of 10. Now we'll click Run and get the result set. Additional exploration capabilities are available right from the UI. You can sort and filter the result set and visualize your results to gain faster insights. You can choose to sort by time or another column, and you can add filters to limit the result set. You may also use the built-in time filter to narrow down the scope of the time queried right from the UI. Let's use the time range filter to look only at the last hour of data. Even if a time scope is set in your query, as it is in our case here, you can select the time scope smaller than the one in your query, and the query will be scoped to the time set in the picker. And this is just the beginning. Log Analytics with the power of KQL offers an easy and powerful way to get insights from your logs. Log Analytics also integrates well with other Azure and Microsoft assets, allowing you to create useful alerts, dashboard, export to Excel, and share your queries and insights. 
Explore Log Analytics to see how you can leverage it for your use cases. We hope this short guide was helpful. Please visit our documentation to learn more about KQL and how to utilize this powerful query language for fast and powerful insights from your logs.